making a knowledge clip on volcanoes and want to use the image of a volcano that you found on Google. Is this allowed? Not only text and images, but also music and film are usually protected by copyright. When recording a lecture, be careful with the use of materials produced by third parties. This video addresses Dutch copyright law and the use of images, text, video and audio in your classroom or digital learning environment. Just because you found an image or video on the web does not mean it is free of copyright. Only if it is clearly stated that there is no copyright, you're free to use it. So it is important to check whether permission is needed. We will now discuss a number of ways to work with and around these rules. There is a handy exception called For Educational Purposes. This allows the use of images, short video or audio fragments for educational purposes. For instance, you may use a short extract of a Lady Gaga song in your web lecture for analysis. However, it is not allowed to use the same song as background music in your video. Likewise, you may include an image that is protected by copyright for analysis, but you may not use it to make your video more appealing. It is important to note that you may only use a short fragment. Using the entire clip in your web lecture is not allowed. In general, copyright guidelines for images and sound are similar to the ones that apply to text. This means that your fragment must be short and that you must cite the author and the source. You could do so in your credits. If a short fragment does not suffice and you want to show the entire video or song to your students, you are allowed to do so in your physical classroom, provided that it is for educational purposes. You could also opt for a hyperlink, for instance to a YouTube video or website showing the material. It is good to know that there are media that are produced under Creative Commons licenses. Such a license states exactly what you're allowed to do with the material. It could be sufficient to cite someone's name. Some final tips. For using background music without too much hassle, you can search for royalty-free music. There are entire YouTube channels devoted to music created under Creative Commons. Also, there are websites that provide royalty-free images. And then Google has a search tool that filters for license-free images. If none of this works, simply ask the copyright holder for permission to use their work. Okay, we hope these tips are useful and wish you good luck with the creation of videos. Music